Are you one of those people who picks a word or a phrase for the coming year and I don't know, it might be uh, try, it might be believe, it might be just do it. I've never been very good at that. I've tried a couple times, but you know, it's sort of like a challenge and I forget about it even if I have it put someplace in front of me. But I've been thinking about it this year and I was thinking that maybe this year, this year, instead of a word, instead of a phrase, I want to chase a feeling. I want to chase that feeling I get when I look at what I have accomplished this year and I see how much I have learned and how much I have grown as an artist. I got to be honest, it kind of blows my mind because I can sit while I'm stitching and know that my stitching takes a long time and think that I haven't done very much. But when I look at how I started the year doing mostly flat surface embroidery and how it's evolved into my texture scapes and my wild scapes and eventually seascapes hopefully coming, I'm a little gobsmacked and really proud of myself. And you know, we don't give ourselves pats on the back often enough. So I hope you take a look at what you've accomplished this year. And next year, I just want to chase the feeling that this is it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am the artist that I want to be, even though I will be continually, hopefully growing and exploring new avenues. And I just want to chase the feeling that this is it. Uh, I am in my happy place. And how cool is that? It's pretty cool. So I put together a little uh, set of reflections, I guess, on what I had done this year because I needed to see it. And maybe it will make you think about going out and doing the same sort of thing with your own art. Take a look at what you've done for the whole year. I am going to try, no promises, to be a little bit better in the coming year in tracking my accomplishments because I realize now um, I don't have pictures of everything and not everything's finished, you'll see in the slideshow. But I don't know, I'm pretty happy with how far I've come and I can't wait to see where I go next. So take a look at this with me. None of these are in chronological order and that's okay and it certainly isn't everything I've done throughout the year but it does help me see that I started with a, an outgrowth from what I used to do in my journals and I moved into more surface embroidery, slow stitching, journal covers, larger pieces of fabric that I could hold in my hand and stitch. And I gradually figured out, I mean, there was no like magic thing that happened, but I gradually figured out that it was texture and the color green that really appealed to me. And that's the thing that I really started to lean into. And when I started to explore more fibers and more ways to create texture, that's where the idea of these texture scapes and wildscapes came to me. Now, if you had asked me at the beginning of the year what my favorite embroidery stitch was, it was going to probably be the feather stitch because I really, really loved that. It was not going to be the French knots. It was not going to be bullion stitch and it was not going to be drizzle stitch, but surprise, those are the three stitches that I fell in love with and that I use all the time. I do like to add couching of various fibers or fabrics and of course beads and rocks and I don't know, I'm always experimenting to see what else, but this year has taught me to really go beyond what I thought I could do, what I thought was even possible with stitch and just to play. I needed that reminder that it was okay to just play and that that in fact was really the whole point of art after all was just to have a good time expressing whatever I was feeling at the moment and if you'd have told me I was going to have the patience to do all those French knots over and over and over again until I could sculpt them into my little landscapes I never would have believed it but that's the thing right we're all so much more capable than we ever thought possible. Now, 
This is not to say that I completely got my act together this year because I know that's not the case and it's probably never going to actually happen. And that's okay. What I got this year from all this experimenting was the belief that I really am an artist. I don't have to doubt myself anymore. I just have to keep doing what I've already been doing. Who knew? It really could be just that easy. And so it's just really kind of mind boggling to see how far I've come. And it's also super exciting to think about how far I still have to go. There are so many roads yet untraveled. I don't want to limit myself with my creativity and I hope you won't either. Go out and make your own kind of art just because.